Welcome back to another 10 with Ken on location at the 2015 Ontario University's Fair. We shot hours of footage at the Ontario University's Fair last September and wanted to share with you some highlights. It's more than 100,000 students and parents flooding through the OUF. It's a great place to take the pulse of the higher ed marketplace. This week, what do students at the OUF think are hot new program offerings at Ontario's universities? At the Ontario University's Fair last September, one of the questions I asked people on the floor was what new program was attracting the most interest from prospective students? In many cases, their answer focused on signature programs that were unique to their institution. So one of our big hitters this year has been our global and international studies. Programs like Outdoor Rec, one is mining and with the development of the Ring of Fire, and then uh, forestry, the revitalization of the forestry industry. And environmental studies especially being very uh, hot topic, uh, people are, are finding that that's kind of a very high employment area. Mm. We also have a lot of interest for what we call our signature programs, such as forensic science, sports administration, and human kinetics. We've introduced a new master's program in indigenous relations, which is generating a lot of, a, a lot of interest. Uh, that was introduced last year. We've started to place more emphasis on the Durham campus. We're grow developing our programs there, for example, uh, child and youth studies. We've introduced a new communications program. The thing that's getting the most attention at Brock right now is the brand new facility for the Marilyn I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts. Brand new meaning we opened it a week ago. We have stunning space for all of the programs that are offered there, the best painting and drawing studios in Canada, trust me. We even have our own purpose-built theatre, which we never had before for the dramatic arts programs. And that's attracting a lot of attention, especially when they see it on our board, right there. Of course, in times of career anxiety, it's hardly surprising that millennial students are fascinated by the professional schools. We've also seen quite a few students who are interested in our science programs engineering as well as commerce. Lots of students who are interested in getting into business and or business management. Business is number one uh, today in terms of interest. We've introduced a, uh, quite a, a wide range of new majors and minors in the Faculty of Management as we're pursuing ACSB accreditation. We're introducing new bilingual degrees uh, in engineering, specifically in chemical, mining, uh, engineering and mechanical engineering. We've got a brand new program starting in 2016, uh, Mechatronics Engineering. It's a marriage between electrical engineering and uh, mechanical engineering. Certainly we've seen a lot of interest uh, on the fair floor uh, this morning. On this floor what we're seeing is a lot of interest for biomedical uh, programs, nursing programs. At the Peterborough campus we're introducing a biomedical sciences program. One of the great new programs, we've got, we have a great health sciences program now just getting up and running, mm. which is really exciting. We're also just opening up the first facilities in our downtown campus, which is going to be a great opportunity for students in social work and arts programs to be working in the community, involved with our community much more. In particular, quite a few schools mentioned new law programs. We started the law school three years ago, so that has a lot of buzz around it. It's the first law school uh, in 43 years in Ontario. The program is designed to focus on three areas. Natural resources, uh, single and sole practitioner law, and Aboriginal law. We're the first university in the country using the new uh, Federation of Law Societies curriculum. And we have added um, some dimensions so that there are Aboriginal pro uh, legal programs in each of the three years. Our dual Juris Doctorate program with the University of Detroit Mercy, where you can do a law degree and practice law in either Canada or the U.S. when you graduate. That's interesting. Yeah. Tremendous growth in that program. So the thing that I would say is both new and hot is a really unique agreement that we have just signed within the last week. What our students have the opportunity to do is one of four undergraduate programs at Laurier. Criminology, Human Rights and Human Diversity, or a Law and Society program at our Brantford campus, or Political Science at our Waterloo campus. They would do their first two years of their undergrad at Laurier in their particular discipline. Then they head over the pond to the UK for three years and do their LLB law degree at the University of Sussex. Once they've completed that, they come back for one more year at Laurier where they'll be doing some prep courses to prepare for equivalency exams they'll have to write to have their UK law degree recognized in Canada. 
students can apply directly to this program from high school, provided they meet the prog progression requirements of a B plus at the end of their second year at Laurier, the admissions process is largely a formality. They're good to go for admission into that law program at Sussex. No LSAT required. Two universities specifically mentioned new programs in video game design. In a previous episode, we showed you the virtual campus tour being offered by UOIT at the fair using Oculus Rift technology. So we have a game development and entrepreneurship program, which is one of the really popular ones. It's a bit more competitive just because a lot of students are interested in that, which covers developing video games, simulations, those kind of things. They do work extensively with Oculus. I know that they've been working on a simulation for people that are afraid of heights. You can kind of peer over the edge and it'll slowly increase the height. The hottest new program is the new interactive, interdisciplinary, multi-institution program in game design, video game design. It's a joint program with Niagara College. We've gotten together to work on the development of video games. Students take courses at Niagara, they take courses at Brock, and get every aspect of the creation of video games. There's a lot of buzz about it and a whole lot of enthusiasm. We've been swamped all day with questions about that program. This kind of cooperation between the College of Applied Arts and Technology, Niagara College, where they had the development studios and the development labs, and Brock, where we have faculty who look at the theory and look at the other components that go into games. It's unique. You're not going to find it anywhere else. But that's just one of many new collaborations arising between Ontario colleges and universities. The University of Guelph Humber, now more than a decade old, is a successful collaboration between the University of Guelph and Humber College that promises students both a four-year university degree and a two-year college diploma in just four years. At the program level, there are plenty of examples of collaboration between colleges and universities. So what we're doing in Aurelia is we're developing a partnership with Georgian College. Uh, one of the areas that we have signed an agreement that we want to do is develop starting with electrical engineering and it would be a joint venture between Georgian and Lakehead and then we have a series of other uh, academic programs that we want to do directly uh, with, uh, with Georgian and right now that's going through the uh, MTCU process. Uh, we have a very strong relationship with Durham College and actually uh, UOIT. So we've got three institutions there and we're working very hard to allow there to be pathways in between all of those institutions. In the Peter Peterborough campus we have very close relationship uh, with Fleming College and it's interesting that you know one of the, the key academic components of Trent is environmental sciences and actually Fleming has a college uh, campus in Lindsay uh, which is very much focused on the environment so there's very close links there. We have an exceptional relationship with colleges in fact I was co-chair of the Ontario Council on Articulation Transfer for three years so obviously that's something that's very important to us uh, to facilitate student mobility in all directions from college to university, university to university, and university to college. Uh, we're exploring several new uh, pathways in Sudbury with Collège Boreal and uh, Cambrian College. So there you have it, a quick survey of Ontario universities about what the new hot programs seem to be this year. Student interest gravitates to program areas where they perceive growing career opportunities. The professions, health, engineering, and also apparently mining and forestry. We're seeing a number of new law programs, whether the university opened its own law school, as Lakehead University has done, or partnered with international law schools, such as Windsor and Laurier have done. Naturally, students are excited by new programs that align with their personal passions, like video game design. And Ontario universities are increasingly partnering with colleges to create pathways for students and new collaborative programs with hands-on components. There were a few other intriguing insights we gained from the University Fair, and we'll be back to share those with you in a future episode. As always, thanks for taking 10 with me. We'll be back soon with more, but in the meanwhile, I hope you'll take a moment to check out more than 40 previous episodes on iTunes or YouTube. While you're there, please take a millisecond to click like on a video or to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, if you subscribe to my free email newsletter, you'll get exclusive early access to upcoming episodes. You'll also receive my new weekly column, Eduvation at a Glance, a handy visual summary of interesting or intriguing new developments affecting higher ed. But hey, before you go, I want to share with you some highlights from a fun new video from USC Viterbi, the National Academy of Engineering, and Funny or Die. 
Their premise? What if the e-network covered engineers like celebrities? Here are a few excerpts, just in case you missed it. What's up, everyone? I'm Chandra Miles. And I'm Billy, just Billy, coming at you live from eNet Studios, the only network that gives you the inside scoop on all things engineering. Artificial intelligence has made some serious bounce this year, fooling even the most trained eyes. Tongues were wagging about when AI engineer Henry Burns stepped out last week in a new car that appeared to be self-driving. Now, that's not the only thing trending today in the Engineeriverse. That's right. Everyone wants to know what's going on with the Emery North. Emery, Emery, what do you have to say about the support of the Black Lives Matter DDoS? Anybody working in this field knows that that approach does not work. We need new approaches to authenticate data and computer systems. When are you dropping your next cybersecurity release? I've been hitting the research facility day and night to release my next intelligent throttling system. These things don't happen overnight. Can I get a selfie with you? Sure. No more questions! Emery has no problem stirring the pot. It's one Twitter feud after another with her. Mm -hmm, that's true. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> My, well, there you have it, folks. All things hot and steamy in the world of engineering. Tune in next week as I take you to the red carpet for the National Academy of Engineering Awards.